Yeah. Hello, people. I'm Jabby Koe, joined by Char Kirk. Hi there. We're going to look at the trailer to Grazi, the Ali Abbott film, also starring Vicky Kashal, directed by Meghna Gulzar. This comes out May 11th, 2018. Mark your calendars. This is pretty soon, little over a month away. I like that actor. Does she fall in love though? This is a different role for her. Sorry, Sabat. Karwale pool jate hai ki Hindustan tumara badan hai. Main to apni jaan mere karwale hai. Training se pehle kuch zaroori instructions aapko bata di hai. Ki as a field agent, jo information aapko hasil ho, aap usse aage pass karte rahiye. Aag aur kaan har waqt khule rahe. झंडे पर अपनी याद छोड़ जाते हैं वतन के आगे कुछ नहीं खुद भी नहीं That's some deep spy work right there. To be like, all right, so, hey, daughter, we're just gonna marry you off. Marry you off, and uh, good luck there in Pakistan by yourself in a foreign country. You might die. Good luck. The director's a female. I know. Yeah. I I love that. She directed Telvar, which we watched. And I really, really liked that movie. I thought that was an excellent film. And this is based on a true story as well. Not that a man is incapable of diving into this stuff, but I really like that it's a female director because she can kind of talk Ali about through those kind of... What it is to be a female in that kind of situation yeah. and kind of relate to it and be able to kind of draw out those emotions maybe potentially better. I don't know. I like the possibility of that exploration. I make it akin to... This is going to sound random, but I make it akin to... Ryan Coogler directing Black Panther because he'll have a better sense of the identity of like what, yeah, you what, know what it means to be a, a black person. Yeah, exactly. That part excites me to to know that about the story. Like that's a very that's an I, it goes without saying that's obviously a compelling story. Mm -hmm. it, you know, this woman who has to cross over to the other side, pretend to be part of this thing for her country back home. Obviously, when you do that, you know I don't know anything about this character, but just from a um, kind of fictionalizing it a little bit for the sake of a film and telling a narrative, there's obviously going to be some questioning of like what's going on with you internally because yeah. you're supposed to be in love with this person and now it, it could just mess with you a little bit mentally like no 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 I'm like I'm from here I'm supposed to be re representing this and fighting for this right but you're so involved in the character you've created to assimilate that it can mess with you. Yeah, because it becomes, to a certain extent, it must become real in order to sell the lie, as it were. Right. A at some point, the lie becomes the truth. He it looks like he's probably a very dashing man, yeah. uh, the type of man that she might fall in love with. I think that's going to be an interesting conflict. What do you love more? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I, I, we don't have a whole lot of uh, information or history to draw on in terms of Indian spies going over and kind mm. of assimilating and what they have gone through mentally. Like, I don't have any research on that. But what I can uh, speak on a little bit, just based on American films and whatnot, uh, is what happens when you have narcs who are assimilating into uh, gangs and whatnot. Yeah, it's and, dangerous. And then when they leave that, there's still a part of them that is like that person because they spent so much time mm -hmm. 
living that life. I also think it's really interesting that she is this young woman, you know, being sent off to marry this guy because she has that one persona as being like this young housewife, mm -hmm. which is the most unsuspecting role you would have for a spy, right? And <laughs> Unless you're Jebby, and you're suspecting everybody. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> I really like that where it's like, okay, you don't suspect her because like her role is just so ordinary and mundane, but she is basically a hero. Shashir Sharma is the actor I was pointing out. I really like him a lot. I saw him first in a, a TVF season two of Permanent Roommates, I believe. Mm -hmm. I just really like his presence. He's got a very charismatic presence. Vicky Kashal I saw in an Anurag Kashyap film called Rama Raghav 2.0. Vicky Kashal is an interesting actor because he has got this interesting range of like being able to play that kind of dark series, at least according to his performance uh -huh. in Rama Raghav 2.0 and that other trailer I saw of him. Um, he's actually a very good actor. He's uh, well equipped to do this kind of role. And of course, Ali Abad. Yeah. Like, I really, really, really like Ali Abad. She is my Indian Jennifer Lawrence. I think that she's wonderful, she's got a lot of personality, and I love watching her just be on camera. I like, I like what she brings to the table. I'm just so excited by this trailer. Like, yeah. it, and especially since it's helmed by the director of Talva. Right. I'm like, this, this could potentially be a very riveting, uh, moving and interesting film. I mean, as soon as you say someone's crossing over to this enemy side and infiltrating them, and you're getting to take a look at yeah. their life as an infiltrator, conducting business that you know is gonna be nerve-wracking. Every time she's gotta do something like communicating back, back home or setting yeah. up some kind of device or whatever it might be, it's always gonna be just, you know. Yeah, while making sure that dinner's on the table by <laughs> 7 p.m. You know, it's a tough life. <laughs>